What is up, YouTube? Faros here with our first video in Final Fantasy XI, starting the Seekers of Adulin expansion content. That's it, you guys. Seekers of Adulin is live. It is launched today. I'm super stoked. I got my Samurai 99. I got it decked out in gear. I got my TP set. I got my weapon skill set. It doesn't look half as cool as my TP set, so we're getting right out of that. But anyway, the, the expansion is here. I'm hyped. I'm stoked. And we're getting right into it. This video today is going to be a very, very quick one. I'm going to show you guys, all you guys who haven't gotten the chance to get into the game yet, maybe you're still patching, maybe you haven't gotten into the new expansion yet, it's all good. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do when you get in. It's going to be a quick five minute video. Um, I'm going to show you how to get to a duelin, the new city, the new area in this expansion. So, right now, we're in Lower Juno. We're on top of the auction house. Check this shit out. I'm just up there because I like it up there, you know, it's a nice change of scenery. If you want to start the expansion, the new expansion content, get to the new city, this is exactly how you do it. You see the auction house right here? You guys all know the Lower Juno auction house. You run into this building across from it, where you used to buy your maps, you know? There's an NPC in here. This, this old ass elven dude used to buy your maps from him. Now check it out. The chick next to him, Darcia, that's who you want to talk to. You see all these players crowding around him, that's how you know you're in the right spot. Darcia is who you want to talk to. You can talk to her, it's the Hume chick. And here's the deal, she's going to give you um, a 10 minute quest. Okay, I kid you not, it's 10 minutes. I I've actually already done it, but I'm going to run through it with you guys on this video so you know exactly what to do, the quickest way to do it. It takes literally 10 minutes. Or, you're, you're going to have two options here that I don't have. One is going to be like ask about a duel in pass or something like that okay that's what you want to do you want to ask her about the duel in pass or something along those lines you're gonna have an option there that i don't currently have on the screen because i've already done it and then at the bottom she's gonna say something about a, a duel in key item pass all right that you can buy for a million gil do not buy that okay you don't need to it takes literally less than 10 minutes to get she's offering to sell one for a million gil don't buy it. You're going to have an option up here at the top. You're going to ask her about the pass, inquire about it, fucking get her to tell you about it, okay? She's going to tell you about geomagnetic founts, geomagnetic waypoints, okay? She's going to give you a key item and give you a list of dungeons that you can go to to attune your geomagnetic fount to, okay? That's what's going to happen. She's going to give you a key item, give you a list of dungeons to go to. Then that's how you start the quest. So step one, talk to Darcia. Step two, get her to give you that, what I just talked about. Get her to give you that quest. Now you're going to run out of here. And you're going to run outside of Juno. This is if you have a Void Watch port, okay? If you don't have a Void Watch port and you're from Sandoria, you can port to Sandoria. What I did, there's a whole list of dungeons. Like Range Mount Pass is where I went, okay? You can pick one of like 20. I think there's probably like zero mines, you know... Fucking, there's places in Ronfer, Gusterberg, stuff like that. I think, I think, I think. Um, all I know is I did Range Mount Pass, okay? So I'm going to show you exactly what I did step by step. I ran out of Juno. This is actually, I mean, I, I wanted this to be a five minute quick video. So um, I'm going to cut this. All right, I just pulled it up so I can be more specific with you guys. So the list that she gives you. The dungeons are as follows. She gives you the Geomagnetron, right? And she says, go to one of these dungeons and attune it with there to get it its power. You can go to Yukat Grotto. You can go to King Ranpair's Tomb. You can go to Monastic Cavern, Eldim Necropolis, Ordel's Caves, Guskin Mines, Dangriff Wadi, Krokoloka Tunnel, Palworld Mines, Gustav Tunnel, Labyrinth of Azozo, Maze of Shakrami, Garlage Citadel, Crawler's Nest, Outer Hirosho Ruins, Inner Hirosho Ruins, or the Toromare Canal. You can go to literally any of those places. You know, so the list goes on and on. Now, what I went to was Rangemont Pass. So, what I did, and it's so easy. I've got Void Watch teleports out the ass, because I've been doing them lately, okay? So... Since um, I can go to the little Atmosite Refiner right outside of Juno, I can request teleportation, and for a mere thousand crewer, I can hit Sandoria, boom, go to East Ronfair. This puts me not far at all from Range of Mount Pass. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to rest, because we have Sprinter Shoes, and I'm going to get that speed buff. But I'm going to cut this part out of the video. Range of Mount Pass is right up here. 
Welcome back YouTube, what is up? Faros here again and we are about at Rangemont Pass, the entrance here um, from East Ronfer. I'm going here because uh, I, it's the zone that I thought I could most quickly teleport to and run through. It's really easy to get to the geomagnetic fount that you need to. And here I can give you very simple, simple directions in order to get to it. Uh, I don't have a map. You don't need a map. This is where I went. You're going to be going south and east whenever you can. And you're going to run into the geomagnetic fountain. So keep going south when you can go south. Keep going east when you can go east. You're going to run right into it. Uh, you're you're going to dead end right into it. So there's going to be no missing it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make this run with you. Maybe I'll do it on slightly faster speed. Um to save time in the video but yeah all you need to do you can choose any of the dungeons I listed I'll actually put a link to this mission in the description of the video below so if you can't teleport to Sandy very quickly like I can um, by the way this door is locked in Ram Ranger Mount Pass if you've never been here before you just talk to this elven NPC and she puts in the little pegs and opens the door for you it's that easy but anyway um, if you can't teleport to Sandy Uber uber quick like I can. Uh, you can pick any of the other dungeons to go crawl through to find the geomagnetic fount. And um, yeah, it'll it'll probably be just as easy. This is just the one that I did. So right, I'll probably speed up the video right here just so you guys can see the run through it. And just so you know where to go. Even though like it said, you just keep going south and you keep going east. So um, yeah, we'll speed this up right now. I'm just trying to save you guys time because I know you are going to be trying to figure out how to get to a duel in as fast as possible. Again, I had already done this, so I don't have to actually talk to this thing. I will have already, um, I will, I will have already have the little teleport thing. Well, I think it gives you a waypoint, so now I can technically teleport to here from Juno, and I can teleport from here back to Juno. I think so. Uh, you'll find the geomagnetic fountain. It's right here. If you want the position, it's at J10. Again, I don't have a map, so I can't so show you that. But we just kept went going south whenever we could, and went east. Um, we kept going south and east just to get here all the way through Range Mount Pass. Took us about a minute. Um, so right, you'll talk to it. It'll say your geomagnetic fount or your geo magno, whatever it's called, is attuned to this spot. Then you're going to pop a scroll of instant warp. You're going to go back to lower Juno. You're going to talk to that NPC. And then when I get back there, um, I'll show you guys what to do next. But we're almost done. It's that easy. You can get to a duel in very, very easy. I just wanted to make this quick video so you guys knew exactly what you were doing next time you logged into the game. So um, I'll catch you back at the NPC. And we're running back. So back in lower Juno, um, back at Darcia, right across from the lower Juno auction house. Already back here, when you attune your geomagnetic fount to whatever dungeon location that you do, you're going to come back, you're going to talk to Darcia again. Uh, you're going to get a cutscene with her, she's going to tell you everything checks out, uh, it takes a couple minutes, she'll give you a key item, two key items I think, that will allow you to port straight to Adulin. Uh, simple as that. As soon as you get done talking to her and you get your thing and you saved a million gil, uh, just by doing that, you know, five minutes, ten minutes of walking, you're going to walk out of that building and then talk to this waypoint right here. As soon as you talk to this, um, it's going to port you right outside the city of Adulin and give you a cutscene and you'll meet some characters. No spoilers here from me, but um, yeah, you'll have ten minutes worth of cutscene, I think, and it's actually really badass, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I didn't want to record it. I actually did record it, but I'm re-recording it right here because I'm thinking I'm going to do stuff first and then show you guys what you need to know second. Because if I record cutscenes, uh, you're going to be getting five minutes worth of knowledge in a 30-minute video because you're watching all the cutscenes with me. And I'm not sure people really want to do that. So I figured I'd trim it down, re-record it, just so you guys know right how to get to a duel in for the next time you guys log in. 
Um, or if you're trying to prepare, you know, maybe you're watching this at work, maybe you're watching this killing time on your phone, you know, and you can't log in yet, but now you guys know right how to get there. So you'll talk to this waypoint. I think you're just going to get a cutscene right away. You might have to activate it and request whatever teleportation is available to you, but I'm pretty sure you're just going to get a cutscene right away. For me, I can teleport to Western Adulin, Eastern Adulin, whatever, because I've already been there. And I've gotten a lot of the waypoints there. Uh, just to show you guys the city. Um, we'll just go to Eastern Adulin. I thought that one was nicer. And we'll go to the second one. Why not? So boom. 30 kinetic units. You might be wondering what are kinetic units. You get kinetic units by trading crystals to the actual waypoint. Um, I, I can show that on camera. No big deal. I right, Cool. This is actually right where I wanted to be. This is going to segue into my next video. I think anyway. So check this out. I really like the music here, man. I like the city of Adul, and it's cool. It's split into two parts, east and west. It's a huge city. Uh, you got, you got, you know, teleports here that you can teleport back to Juno from. You got an auction house here, mog house here, you know, residential area, everything, whole nine yards. So it might be actually a really good place to set your home point. I've been debating doing that myself. But if you ever want some more kinetic points, you just trade some crystals to the waypoint itself. Boom. I just got 150 kinetic units by trading 10 water crystals. So that's how you do it. That's how easy it is. That's how you get to a duel and you guys are going to run in here after you finish up your cutscenes. It'll all be really self-explanatory. Trust me. Uh, you don't need me to show you that. And next video, well, hopefully if you guys like this video, give it a like. If you really liked it, give it a favorite. Let me know in the comments below. Or maybe if you're a Link Show member and you're watching this on Facebook and you hadn't done this already, let me know if you think this is a helpful video. Let me know, you guys. I could use the feedback. Um, like I said, I was wanting to show everything in Seekers of Adulin, so I figured this is the best place to start. Show how to get here. Next video, I think I'm going to do a quick video just like this one, showing how, maybe how to unlock Runefencer. Doing one maybe showing how to unlock Geomancer. And um, for those of you who want to unlock those jobs, you have a quick, you know, maybe five, six, seven minute video showing you how to do it. Um, so if you're down for that, let me know in the comments below. And then there's so much new content that I don't know how to do yet, but you can bet your ass that I'm going to be learning how and then bringing it to you guys if that's what you want to see. I'm going to be bringing all this Seekers content. Me on the level 99 Samurai with the Kanto Notachi until I get something better. So I'm hyped. Hopefully you guys are just as hyped. Pumped for the new expansion. I'm out, you guys. Until next time. You guys take care. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace. Out.